very good morning student i am anshul sharma your biology teacher and in this video we are going to discuss about the second type of cell that is called eukaryotic cell you know the first type of cell that is the prokaryotic cell we have discussed in the previous video the second type of cell is the eukaryotic cell the eukaryotic word is made up of two words the eu means true and karyons means nucleus that means the cells with true nucleus in the case of prokaryotic cell if you remember there is no membrane bound cell uh, nucleus or you can say there is no definite nucleus is there but in the case of eukaryotic cell you can see the nucleus is outsidedly bounded by a membrane that is called nuclear membrane and this nuclear membrane forms the boundaries of nucleus and that is why the nucleoplasm filled inside the nucleus is separated from the outer cytoplasm so we can say the definite nucleus is there and you can also see the other membrane bound organ like mitochondria chloroplast lysosomes golgi body endoplasmic reticulum are also present so the cell with the definite nucleus and other membrane bound cell organelle is called a eukaryotic cell let's discuss the structure of a plant cell because the example of eukaryotic cell is a plant cell and animal cell so in this video we are going to discuss in detail the structure of plant cell the plant cell als always have a definite structure they don't or you can say they don't have the ability to change their shape and the reason is very clear because here you can see the red color plasma membrane is there and outside this plasma membrane you can see a thick rigid cell wall is present and this cell wall is made up of cellulose and it is rigid that means cannot change its shape so due to the presence of this frame of cell wall this plant cell is also unable to change its shape on the other hand in the case of animal cell this is an amoeba cell you can see the plasma membrane is there and this plasma membrane is elastic so due to the elasticity offers by the plasma membrane this amoeba cell can easily change its shape but in the case of plant cell the cell wall is present and due to the presence of this cell wall they are unable to change their shape inside the cell wall the thin membrane made up of lipid and protein is present that is known as plasma membrane and this membrane is a selectively permeable membrane or a semi permeable membrane semi means half and permeability that means allowing the passage that means this membrane is not blocking the passage and it, it is not allowing the passage for everything it is allowing the passage of only sub substances across the cell kuch substance andar aa sakte hain aur kuch substance bahar ja sakte hain na sabhi ke liye band hai na sabhi ke liye khuli hui hai sirf selectively kuch ka aana jana allow kar rahi that is why it is selectively permeable membrane. in the case of plant cell it is characterized by a presence of very large food vacuole and this large food vacuole can occupy around 70 to 90% volume of the cell you can see the 70 to 90% volume cell ka is akeli vacuole ne ghear liya hai and because of the presence of this large vacuole the nucleus of plant cell is shifted towards the periphery ye periphery ki taraf shift ho gaya eccentric position mein hai eccentric position that means shifted from the center in this nucleus you can see the nuclear membrane is present inside the uh, uh, liquid that is present that is a nucleoplasm and you can see the thread of dna is present and this thread is called the chromatin so you can see the definite nucleus is there and the large food vacuole is there and this food vacuole is filled with the tonoplasm except this is the plant cell because it is a eukaryotic cell it has other membrane bound cell organelle also like mitochondria are present their number can vary depending upon the physiological activity of the cell jyada physiological active cell hogi to number of mitochondria zyada hoga kam physiologically active cell hogi to mitochondria ka number kam hoga they are the power house of the cell because they are responsible for the production of atp adenosine triphosphate the second membrane bound cell organelle that is present in the plant cell they are called plastids plastids are of three type the chromoplast that means the colorful plastid the leucoplast that means the white color plastid and the chloroplast these are the green color plastids they are green because they contain a pigment called chlorophyll and this chlorophyll is of green color that is why these plastids also look green in color these chloroplast are responsible to perform the process of photosynthesis in which the plant produces a glucose and that glucose is stored in this food vacuole in the form of starch in the form of starch 
द अदर मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड ऑर्गनली आर द एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम दे आर फाउंड एसोसिएटेड विद द न्यूक्लियस एंड हेर यू कैन सी दिस एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम हैव अटैच राइबोसोम्स एंड दिस एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम डोंट हैव अटैच राइबोसोम दैट इज इट इज रफ इन अपियरेंस इट इज स्मूथ इन अपियरेंस एंड दैट इज दिस इज रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम दिस इज स्मूथ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम द रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम परफॉर्म द प्रोसेस ऑफ सिंथेसिस ऑफ प्रोटीन बिकॉज इट इज हैविंग द राइबोसोम व्हिच आर द साइट ऑफ प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस एंड स्मूथ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम पार्टिसिपेट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लिपिड एंड डिटॉक्सिफिकेशन प्रोसेस associated with nucleus another cell organelle is also present this is called golgi body this golgi body in plant cell they are very smaller in size and they are scattered throughout the cytoplasm and that is why they are called a dictyosome so dictyosome is not a separate cell organelle it is a term that is used for the golgi body of the plant cell which are smaller in size and scattered in the cytoplasm except this the plant cell also have a membrane bound cell organelle that is called lysosomes however their number in plant cell is very small but they are present they are containing the lytic enzyme or digestive enzyme the lysosomes are known as suicide bag the reason is very clear if this cell have any damage that cannot be recovered agar is cell mein kuch aisa damage ho gaya jo recover nahi ho sakta then the all lysosomes of this cell will burst simultaneously ek hi time pe phat jayenge release the digestive enzyme in the cytoplasm aur wo digestive enzyme is cell ki puri structure ko digest karke cell ko khatam kar denge and that means the lysosomes can be used by a cell to kill itself in the suicide that is why they are called the suicidal body the last cell organelle that is found in the plant cell they are the ribosomes always remember ribosomes are non membrane bound cell organelle they are not a membrane bound cell organelle they have no membrane in plant cell the ribosomes that are found they are of ats type in the prokaryotic cell the ribosome they are found they are the 70s type but the in the plant cell the ribosome that are found in cytoplasm they are of 80s type they can found in two state they can be attached to the endoplasmic reticulum and they can be found free in the cytoplasm in black color you can see the ribosomes they are the site of protein synthesis the protein synthesis takes place on the ribosomes in eukaryotic cell some ribosomes also found inside the chloroplast and inside the mitochondria but these ribosomes are different from the ribosomes found in the cytoplasm because the ribosome that are found in chloroplast and mitochondria they are of 70s type and the ribosome that are found in cytoplasm and on endoplasmic reticulum they are of 80s type so these are the some important features of plant cell we will discuss about the structure of animal cell in next video thank you very much for watching the video